How's it going guys and welcome back for kind of a different video. This video right here is all about sand compressions and there's so many types of sand compression it will probably, probably be hard to make them all. So I took the most I, I guess most popular sand comps that people will, are using at the moment and then we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more about that and then hopefully I'll be able to to help you guys make your own. So the first thing we are looking at right now is our one push one tick where we have two sticky pistons and we have a piece of glass. So as soon as this sand here is, has fallen down it pushes two blocks out and it goes out in one tick so it lands right here and gets shut out this one here is probably the most common used i think um this one and then of course the one where we have the sand which is pretty much the same so this sand compression right here pushes everything out in one scoop um, and some of the other ones doesn't this one here is the same as the one with the glass but instead of using the glass we use sand instead that can give issues if you're making a nuke or making a pseudo and stuff like that because the sand right here is going to be pushed out in the last second that TNT will explode so if you're trying to follow some kind of order of entities you're going to have to uh, pull more sand down right here because we have this one here so that means that if you want 255 sand you can't just say oh I want 240 on each side because this line right here is 10. You can't really do that because then it will understack. This one here is only for pushing it out. Other than that, it's not really any use. It's going to the wall and everything, but it's not really any use. So this right here is the two most commonly used sand compressions out here. And I guess it's because it's just really fast and it works on most servers. But if you take a look over here, right here, we have um, another cannon where we also push two sticky pistons out. Or sorry, a sticky and a non-sticky, of course, because this one is going to touch the sand. Where we push this out, so it gets one here, one signal. Then it gets right here, one signal. And then over here, one signal. This one right here is also, I guess I haven't really seen it being used that much. But it's it's working and it, it's it's good. Um, I guess this one here could be something you could potentially use if you don't. Uh, if you're not a fan of the one push, it works pretty well. And as you can see, it is pretty fast. It's, it's not the as fast as the one push over there, but it does work pretty pretty well. But that's this kind type of sand compression. This one here pushes out three times. Then we can go over here, where we're having it push a lot more times. So one, two, three, four, five times. This one right here can only be one piston right here. So this one piston is going to take out all the sand. We can go ahead and we can fire out real quick right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at how that looks like. So this one here is, of course... A little slower than any of the other ones but it still like works pretty well i guess unless your server has problems with limitations on piston pushes and stuff like that in chunks then it might not actually be the cannon you're looking for you might be looking for something over here what this one push is this one here works on pretty much all servers both of these works on pretty much all servers there's not really a big difference from this one to this one over here but this one does is let me show you actually so what it does is that push everything out with the glass and then pulls the glass it back in so that one right here is the most commonly used and then after that comes this one over here which is of course a little bit better if you're counting if you don't want the um, amount of uh, piston pushes uh, but this one here is the most commonly used okay we have a carpet comp um some of the big boy cannoners is using carpet comps personally i don't think it's a thing that i'm gonna go too much into it, it does work and it does its job i guess you can call it but the problem is uh, most servers this little glitch right there is not really like i wouldn't say it's a bad sand compression but from personal experience i've seen this sand compression here fuck up a lot and uh, it's just not really as good as the other comps in my opinion because as i said before oh maybe that's a little bit more because as I said before, it kind of glitches out. It's not really at its high end when it comes to sand compressions, in my opinion. Uh, but it does work. It works out pretty well besides this one little sand right there. Don't mind that. But I would not prefer sand comp... Oh, sorry. Um, carbon comp. They are fast. Uh, but with the new comp that uh, got out when I released the other cannons right here, this can't compete whatsoever. But carbon comps uses pistons over here you see pistons on each side what it does is that it moves this carpet extremely fast so the sand doesn't have time to fall down so if you could um if you've ever seen like a piston that pushes out in the last second the sand is going in it just goes on top of it again so it kind of pops up and then tries to go down pops up again and it just keeps it right there until all the sand is in and then it shoots it out 
not really my best sand compression to be honest. I've seen it fuck up so many times, but I guess if you are really good cannon and you know how to do this correct uh, and you know your server, it might actually be something you might be able to use. Uh, but I strongly suggest we use some of these over here versus the one push. And that's exactly what we're going to be building today. So when I think about sand compression, what we need to keep in mind when we're making this is how long do you want it? Because it does have a limit, especially if you're building some of these right here, it does have a limit. What we're going to build today is this one over here. So the problem here is that when this repeater right here goes into this block, we only have 15 blocks to go with. So at when it reaches this end over here, it's pretty much out. So if I can show you, as you can see right here, we can really make it go further because the redstone signal doesn't really allow us to, unless we want to have another system out here, but it looks really stupid. And you don't really need it longer, uh, 15 long should be plenty. But the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to do the back. The back is uh, pretty much where we have these right here. This allows us to have two sand compression next to each other, as you can see right here. Um, it just makes it so there's more sand. I guess if you're making a smaller cannon, maybe like a little under 200, you can do it in a single comp, but that's pretty much it. So this right here is the outline of it. And we are going to have these pillars going up and we're going to leave this block right here. Because we leave this block right here is because when you have a signal coming in from right here, igniting these uh, dispensers this one right here is ignited first and that means if we don't have this block this TNT here will actually realign this TNT over here and leave one single sand in the sand operation depending on where you're facing and stuff like that uh, but it have happened and I found the mistake and you just put a block right here and you should be good what we're gonna do right now is that we're just gonna go ahead and complete this booster right here we're going to do this five high so to take out your one and make sure it's five high right here to make sure the we're gonna do our roof and we're going to of course put a piece of glass right here once you've done that we pretty much have the booster part uh, right here so now we can start thinking about how long we want it we want to have it uh, 15 long we're going to do the max and to do that we are going to use something called infinity boosters infinity boosters helps the sand to travel far away so as you can see this tnt right here can't push the sand that's all the way over here that one wouldn't be possible so what we are doing right now is that once this one here blows up it's going to move all this piece of tnt that is going to be landing right here it's going to push it over to the last block right here and then this one here will explode this sand that's coming right here further and another six blocks and then this right here will boost this TNT all the way over to one block and this one right here will boost the sand the rest of the way. That way we can pretty much um, use one booster right here to boost the rest of the boosters uh, to make sure all the sand gets into one block. It, it sounds confusing but it's really not that confusing. So the infinite boosters goes up to six long or you can also do five long. If you're having mistakes uh, with your sand getting stuck somewhere try to go with simply five long but for now we're gonna do go ahead and do six long because that piece of TNT can um, read sand six blocks away this is what we're gonna do once we've done this we need six blocks more and one two three four five six and once we've done that we can count how long it is now it should be 13 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen all right fourteen here it is so wait that, that doesn't make any sense here six long Six long, seven. Okay, so this one is seven long, that's my bad. So now we have boosters where it travels. 13 blocks, 14, 15, and that will be the number 15. Well, if we've done that, we can go ahead and we can do the other side right here the exact same so now that we have this set up what we need to do now is that we need a line right here this is where all the pistons go as you can see over here we always have this line right here that holds the sand up so this is this piston line right here and they're all meeting up right here once we've done that we can go ahead and we can build a frame around this like this so now we can get one block distance uh, from the cobweb to the boosters we're gonna have right here. Once well, we've done that, we can also put a stone right here and now we can fill this inner part right here with glass. If you don't do this, the sand will try to go over to the other lane which is over there and it's not really gonna work. So now that we've had this set up right here, we can start figuring out the other booster right here. Some people would like to put it right, some people would like to, to go even one further away and then have it like this. Um, 
and then have one like that. But I kind of like to keep it simple and kind of like to have it like this. The only issue right here is that you can't have two uh, pistons right there or two uh, dispensers right here because over here, as you can see, it will then try to detect this block right here and will detect the block under it and it will uh, mess with the dispensers. But this right here should be enough TNT unless you want to shoot extremely far with the sand. But this one here should do it. Again, we're going to put a simple glass on top of this again. Here we go. Now that you've done that, it's now time to think about how we're going to do everything else. So first of all, we're going to make sure that this one right here doesn't shoot this way. We want the sand to stop it. So we're going to do something like that. Once you've done that, we need to figure out what kind of push system we want to have. I'd like to use the glass one here, so that's the one I'm going to show you guys today. That means we're going to use two stickies and one glass. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and stack this all the way over here. And we can do the same on the other side. Once you've done that, it's now time to place these uh, pistons right here. Now we're not going to put a signal on it just yet. We're not ready to test the cannon yet, but it's just nice to have in place. So these pistons right here will push out blocking um, the sand from the cobweb. So when you want sand to go down, you can put a signal right here and it will uh, simply let the sand down. Now if you've done that, we need to put up these right here. This right here will be stacked as well. This is the lines where all the redstone is going. Go ahead and make these and then stack them over again. Once you've done that, it's now time to make this little contraption right here that will make sure the sand, or sorry, the glass is pulled back in whenever it pushes it out. So what you're gonna do here is that you're gonna build this right here. So from here, you're gonna wanna make a square where there's a hole in the middle like right there. Once you've done that, you know that the sticky pistons goes on the outer one. So that means that's the one that um, goes out, not in. And then you can do that on both sides. Once you've done that, put a block like this. Now we need to get our redstone and put one in the corner right here. And then we need to fill the rest out with our uh, repeaters. So the first thing I'm going to do, this one block is the one that gets signal first. Then we need a repeater on two ticks going into this block. Then we need one on four right here, one on two, and one on four. This right here makes sure that whenever this one right here is ignited and pushed all the way out, then this one right here has the exact time it needs for it to go in again before it can go out and grab the glass again. We're going to do the same on the other side where the sticky piston is. We're going to go two blocks or two ticks and then these four repeaters. What you need to make sure is, is that it doesn't make a clock. We don't want this repeater to turn the other way because then it's just going to make a clock and go round and round and round. I'm sorry about that. Looks like my dog found a cat. Anyways, now it's time to start redstoning everything up. Now that everything here is ready. Now the best way I like to do it is do it something like this. This right here allows us to put um, let me show you here in a second. So this allows me to put a simple redstone like that and go this way. So we can we can work that out later, but this is the way I like to do it. Once you've done that, go ahead and finish off the rest with repeaters, glowstone. I'm pretty sure you know this part of the deal, so I'm just going to clip through it. Here we go. So once you've done that, make sure you place one redstone right here. So these one, two is combined. And now let's go over to the last boost that we need to configure it right here. We're going to put one in the middle. We can put it something like that. Oops, there we go. And then we can get these one out going like that. Again, I'm going to skip this part. So now that we have this booster set up, what we need to do now is set these boosters up. So what we're going to do is that we put a repeater into it. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to line this redstone right here. Now, the only problem right now is that we need one repeater right here where there's no uh, dispensers. So that makes sure that it doesn't blow up at the same time. It also makes sure that this TNT can move to the end block right here before this one here explodes because or else it's just going to explode up and that's pretty much it's not going to move anyway. Then we can take the signal from here and put it over here on two ticks. We can uh, configure this. If the boosters is fast enough, we might not be, um, be needing two ticks. Let's go on the other side and do the same again. This one here should be pretty simple. We just copied it on from the other side. One thing you need to make sure of though is that you put it into this like that. Now if your repeater was one higher up then you would need a block and put a, a glowstone or sorry a redstone on it. But in this case right here we have it on the ground and it should be good to go. The next thing we need to do is that we need this one here to have an opening and closing mechanism. What we can do that is do something like this. There we go. And just for testing we can go in and grab a signal right here. Of course, you would have to do it differently, but this right here is just for testing. The last thing we need to do is the repeaters for this one over here. What we're going to do right now is that we're going to start it from right here. Now, you could also start it from over here if you want to do that and just count the ticks how many you need. Um, but in this case right here, we're going to do it pretty simple and start right here. What you need is nine full repeaters. One, two, three, four, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The ninth repeater has no text, the rest is 4. If you remember from how to wire a cannon, I made a video, I'm not really sure, maybe 2 or 3 weeks ago, I told you that TNT blows up in 10 4 repeaters. This right here is also make sure that the sand does dip a little bit before it actually gets shot out and stuff like that. Now go ahead and make something like this. You can do it your own way, but there is one thing you need to keep in mind is that if you want to do it like this, you're going to have an issue because you're going to need a redstone block there and it's going to pull it in. Now we don't want that, so let's keep attention to this one here where we don't have a redstone block going in. So now that you've done this, you're pretty much ready to go on this side right here. Let's go ahead and change up the other side as well. Now that we wide up the other side, this cannon right here is pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of sand into it, fill the sand compression, let's see if this bad boy works. The signal you're going to have can come from right here or you can also have the signal coming from right here. Now I like to do it on this side right here, so let's go ahead and place a button. Let's go ahead and TNT fill it, and then let's go ahead and see if we can get this bad boy here to fire out some sand. I'm gonna make a collector right here, so we don't have it uh, being that much, so sort of like that. So now that we have an issue right here, we need to figure out what that is. I can already tell now that's because we forgot the trapdoors inside the boosters. So the trapdoors right here, if we can find them right here, stops the TNT from moving. So as I told you before, this booster right here will move all of this TNT over to the last block. We're gonna need this trapdoor right here to stop the boosters from just firing out the TNT to wherever. So it's really important that we keep it like this. It's just a little detail that I got wrong. Also, if you're in worry that your cannon might actually blow up on some servers, Go ahead and put letters right here. This one makes it indestructible. So that means that no matter what, you can't really do, blow this part up over here. So the only worries right now is that your um, sand will fall down over here and blow it up. But there's also a fix for that. I'm pretty sure I made a video about that. Go ahead and put the letters up here as well. And now we should be ready to fire one more time. And we should be able to see that it should be working just fine. Okay, so as you can see right here, the sand did get kind of low. As you could see, it went almost down at the cobblestone before it explodes. So let's go ahead and add one more tick to this one over here, as well on the other side. Just so we can get the sand a little bit higher up before the TNT explodes. Go ahead and fire again. And now, which should be the right ticks right here, we should be seeing it should be the right ticks. There we go. So this right here was the right ticks. What you need to make sure of is that it get pushed out in the second that the TNT blows up. If you do it differently, as you can see, it might get stuck somewhere. This is pretty much how you make a one push sand compression. All you need to make sure of is that you have, as I said before, uh, TNT blows up in 10 full repeaters. So we know that these pistons here have to be moved out in um, 10 repeaters or less. So that way you can just do 10 and keep going as downscaling with one tick until you figure out the right ticks and that should be pretty much it. But here we have a 255 sand compression. You can even get 280 sand out of this which is pretty cool but that's right here will pretty much be the one push sand compression. And that is pretty much it guys. Now there is so many different kind of sand compression that I could probably show you guys but I showed you here a few um, sand compression right here that is the most popular right here. This is the five most popular sand compressions that is being used where this one here is the most popular. Carbon comps is not really in. I do see some servers that fix it so carbon comps actually doesn't blow up and stuff like that but i'm not gonna go too much into carbon comps um you guys can leave a comment down below if you want to see more about carbon comps but for right now i'm gonna leave it where it is so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here and if you did make sure you like this video here comment down below if you need more information or if you want to see something else go ahead and leave a comment but as always guys make sure you show your support by subscribing to my channel my name is dexter and i'm out